Hi, welcome. My name is Victoria Dobbs. I'm the principal at Miami Palmetto Senior High School. I'm so happy that you are joining us. Uh, this isn't what we call our traditional school tour, but we're going to be as innovative as possible during these times and give you a lot of great information about our programs, our magnet programs, athletics, activities, and all the wonderful things that Palmetto has to offer to you. So sit back and enjoy our school tour. Hi, I'm Shayna. And I'm Jake, and we're both seniors at Miami Palmetto. And we're going to give you a tour of our amazing school. Let's go. All right, so right behind us we have the activities office, which is where you would go if you ever need help with any extracurricular activities or if you ever want to be a part of any clubs or help, you know, start any field trips or anything like that, this is where you would go. And to the left we have the main office where you can meet with your counselors to help better plan your next four years. Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth Valero. I'm the activities director at Miami Palmetto Senior High School and for the past seven years I've had the honor of overseeing the activities department here at Palmetto. Um, the activities department oversees everything from clubs and honor societies to field trips, extracurricular activities, and special events. Um, at Palmetto Senior High School, you have the opportunity to join uh, one of over 60 clubs and honor societies on campus. So if you're interested in anything from service to extra academics or even um, performing arts, you have the opportunity to get involved here at Palmetto. Uh, the activities department is one of the hubs of the school, so anytime you're interested in doing anything after school hours, we encourage you to come in and uh, take a look around and uh, ask any questions that you may have. So if you're ever interested in getting some early information about our activities, please log on to our school's website, www.palmettopanthers.org, and click on the activities section to see a list of all the things that we have to offer here on campus. We also encourage you to start even now following us on our social media. We have at MPSH Activities on Instagram and Twitter and also at Palmetto SHS both on Instagram as well and Twitter to get a look at all the things that we are doing here at Palmetto at this time, in the past, and hopefully if you start following now in the future. So we're looking forward to seeing you here on campus as Panthers in the fall. Right now we're in the middle of the main building, while on the third floor you can find classes like math and science. On the second floor you can find classes like English and foreign languages. Hello, my name is Steve Patton and I'm the athletic director at Palmetto Senior High School. I'd like to welcome you all here to the school and talk about our athletic program. We currently offer 18 different sports here at Palmetto for males and females. We have one of the largest programs in the county. Every year, Palmetto competes for district, state, and region titles, quite often winning state championships along the way. Palmetto's athletic programs, I like to equate it to AP classes that you take for education. We are the best of the best. Palmetto athletic scholarships quite often go over $500,000 a year. We've exceeded a million several times. If you'd like to continue the tradition, of Palmetto Athletics and Dominance. Please log on to palmettopanthers.org for more information. As you can see, we are currently standing in our gym. Yeah, this is where we have all of our pep rallies as well as all of our indoor sporting events. Down this hallway, we have our vocational and career training classes. These digital labs house classes such as early childhood education, business education, health occupation sciences, drafting and design, computer education and web design. Hello, welcome to the Miami Palmetto Virtual Magnet Tour. My name is John Hayduck. Um, it is my pleasure to be speaking to you about some of our programs that we have. Um, I am the lead teacher for iPrep and the Forensic Investigative program, uh, program, along with Mr. Corradino, who helps oversee Capstone. You know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about regarding all three of our magnets before we go into them in a little more detail is that I've been teaching at Palmetto for, this is my 24th year. Um, Mr. Corradino has been with us for a very long period of time as well. And the main thing that I want to stress about the programs from our standpoint is that we are heavily involved in the programs. Mr. Corradino and I are not people that you will speak to 
during the process and then never see us again. We actually teach in the program. Mr. Tia Corradino teaches European history and research and some seminar classes. Myself, I teach in the iPrep program. I oversee some of the labs as well as teach AP Human Geography which in our within our FIA program. So that's the one thing I really wanted to stress is that we are heavily involved within our magnets. Hello again, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about iPrep. iPrep was established by our superintendent, Dr. Carvalho, to assist the needs of our 21st century learner. Now, as many of you have done some of the research about the magnets around town that may have iPrep, ours is a little bit different. And the reason why ours is a little different is that we allow for great flexibility for students. Not all classes are gonna be taken in the lab. We want students to be out in the building. We want them to be with the highest level math that they can achieve. So I don't wanna set any limitations on them. So in ninth grade, they're going to take leadership skills. That will be an FLVS component that they have to take within our program. 10th grade, they're gonna to have to take intro to technology. Once again, it would be in the lab, they'll have their own teacher, and then the FLVS teacher will come on campus as needed. 11th and 12th, they have that access to FLVS component if they need it, or they can do an internship at their choice. Once again, looking at flexibility, I want them to go out into the real world. If they wanna be a doctor or a lawyer, whatever, an accountant, whatever they think their needs are is what we try to assist the students with. We try to get them out so that they're getting that real world experience. It's very, very important to us at Miami Palmetto. When we look at our FIA program, Within our FIA program, there are six APs that they're going to need to take to graduate through the program. So there are three components that they will need. They will take AP Human Geography in ninth grade. They will take seminar in 10th grade, and they will take research in 11th. Now, what makes our program different is that we have an MOU or Memorandum of Understanding with the FBI. We want kids to be thinkers. My job, as the leader of the FIA program and IPREP is to build thinkers. And talking to the FBI and other agencies, my job is not to teach students any, when it comes to holding a weapon or any things like that, my job is to create a, a thinker that they need. We are looking for analysts. We're trying to build students that know how to analyze information, who can synthesize information, and look at it in a variety of different ways, which is one of the main components that the FBI is looking for. Um, a lot of times we get confused that people are looking or the FBI is using a program like this to create agents. They're not. They're looking for the newest and most energetic minds. Probably the best example of that would be one of my students that I had a few years ago who graduated the program. He was in the, the beginnings of the program when we first started it. And now Jake has already been offered an internship with the FBI. As I spoke to some of the people that I knew through our program, basically what I found out is that this student was basically looked at as for his mind. They're looking at what he can do for them long term. So basically, now that he's been given this internship, he's looking at a possible job interview already now that he's only a sophomore in college. So this is these are just opportunities that we're trying to give our students within our programs. Once again, if you have any further questions about the programs at Palmetto, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about anything that you may need. My email is probably the best way to get a hold of me. It's at jhayduck, H-A-Y-D-U-K, at dadeschools.net. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Daniel Corradino. I'm a lead teacher here at Miami Palmetto Senior. I'm the lead teacher for the Capstone Program, and I'm going to discuss a little bit about the background of the Capstone Program so you may be better acquainted with this. Capstone Program was started by College Board. College Board are people that administer the SAT exams, for example, and then also the many subject exams that go along with the AP classes or AP program that we have um, here at Palmetto. Um, College Board understood that there was a need uh, with preparation for high school students 
for their transition to college, and that's why they came up with this program. This program really is a partnership between uh, high schools that are part of Capstone and um, the various universities across the country. College Board has a relationship with over 90% of these universities, and so when they developed this program, they developed it with the idea that students would be very well prepared, have a strong background um, in all their different core classes that they would take that are AP related uh, when they go to transition to um, college. And that's what their goal is, and that's what we in fact do here at Palmetto Senior. Um, my role here as lead teacher is I uh, look at applications for our program, I uh, advise parents as to whether our program is maybe the best fit for their child and also promote the program here at school. One of the things with the AP Capstone program that is very unique, by the way, to Palmetto is that there are two specific classes that go along with this. Uh, the first one is an AP seminar course and the second one is our AP research course. And both of them are skills related. Both of them connect very much with other AP classes that we have here at Palmetto and they're very, very good preparation for, um, for university life. Um, one of the things that we find, at least I find, in feedback that I get from a lot of our students that graduate from our school and this program is that they're very well prepared when they go to university. And they're very happy, in fact, that they took it. And um, they're usually further ahead than most kids that are incoming freshmen at their university. Uh, Capstone program fits very well at Palmetto because Palmetto, we already have an AP uh, tradition here at this school. Uh, Palmetto offers over 30 different AP classes and so our capstone program really brings all those different classes together. Um, one thing about Palmetto that I do like with the AP capstone is that there are different programs in different schools um, that are much more rigid as far as what their scheduling goes. And one of the great things here at Palmetto is that we have great flexibility of schedule um, that in many ways probably mirrors about as much as college scheduling or college life could be in a high school setting. And because of that, kids can really challenge themselves to varying degrees. So if a student is extreme, extremely academic and they want to take multiple AP classes, they can do that. If they want to take the minimum for our program, they can also do that. So Palmetto offers a lot of that, plus the full you know, curriculum of any high school, plus the full range of sports, plus the flexibility of the different schedules, of the scheduling that we have here, as well as the, fu the full range of activities that we also have. So what you'll find at Palmetto is a school with a long history, over 60 years of academic success, and also a great alumni association that goes along with it. Um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions, or like to learn more about our program, you can reach me at dcorradino at dayschools.net. You can also find me on our school website. If you go to faculty, you can look me up and you can send me an email. And uh, when you do email me, if you also include your contact information, I can also give you a call. Thank you very much. This department also houses our only magnet programs like the Forensic Investigative Academy, AP Capstone, and the iPrep Academy. Right across from our Social Studies and Science Department, we have our brand new media center. This also has our new science labs and our state-of-the-art television production studio. And now we're going to pass you off to our other classmates. Hi, I'm Moe Brenner and I am a junior in the AP Capstone program here at Palmetto. Coming to Palmetto really was a best of both worlds type situation for me because I knew I wanted to push myself academically and take a lot of hard classes, but I didn't want that to consume my life. I have gotten to try a lot of new things that I wouldn't necessarily be able to try if I had gone to a different school or was in a different magnet program. For example, along with taking a lot of AP classes, I have been able to try three new sports and take drama classes. When I came to Palmetto, I didn't really know what to expect from the AP Capstone program. All I knew is I would be writing a research paper in my junior year. But this program has proven so much more than that and has taught me so much. In your freshman year, you take AP Human Geo, which is a very interesting course and actually relates to other AP courses like World History and Environmental Science. It is also a great transition into the official Capstone program. That program starts in your sophomore year when you take AP Seminar. AP Seminar really provides a basis for your next year's class of AP Research by helping you find good research and how to write a research paper. In AP Research, you are writing a 5,000 word paper on virtually any topic, which is very unique to the Capstone program. This program has prepared me for a lot of my other courses where I have to write research papers, find 
good research and make class presentations. I know it is also preparing me for college where I will have to write numerous research papers. Hi, my name is Shanice. I'm in 11th grade and I'm with the FIA program. Palmetto was such a great choice and the past two years have honestly been so memorable. I remember middle school, the excitement over what high school I would be going to for the next four years. It feels like the biggest decision of your life at that time, but Palmetto was definitely my first choice. Between the going to FBA headquarters and meeting secret agents, like it's no joke guys. This is stuff we actually did from freshman to sophomore year. We've also go gone to a number of summits where we met super important people, learned valuable information, and ate great food. For all my ladies out there, there was even an all-girls summit where we learned coding and a lot of computer aspects. So if you're interested in that, it's definitely an opportunity that we have in the FIM program. Through our four years, we take three AP courses, human geography, and two research classes. It kind of gets us ready and prepared for what forensics is all about. I say that to say this. High school is the most important four years of your life, and you should have fun while also learning valuable information that will honestly last you a lifetime. Being in a magnet is just ice cream on top of the cake. I hope you guys learned a little bit about the forensic program and are as eager to come to Palmetto as I was.